Welcome to our Louisiana Law Office. Today we're going to discuss a few quick tips for handling your own auto accident case without an attorney. Although I always recommend that you consult an auto accident injury lawyer if you've been involved in a major wreck with serious injury, many minor cases can be resolved on your own without the assistance of a lawyer. These would be cases with less than $3,000 in total medical bills, cases where you treated for injuries less than three months, and cases where your car was not totaled. Out of an abundance of caution, I always recommend you consult an attorney if you've been injured in a car accident. However, if you feel certain that your injuries were minor and that they're completely resolved and that you're completely better and that this is a small case that does not merit bringing an attorney into the mix, the following tips may be helpful toward helping you settle a case on your own without the assistance of a lawyer. If you're going to resolve your case on your own without a lawyer, then you're going to need to negotiate with an insurance adjuster. And to do that, I recommend that you get answers to the following questions in writing, if possible, before you sign any forms, before you agree to any settlements, and before you give a recorded statement. Question number one. Will you confirm in writing that your insured is at fault for the accident and that your company is liable for the accident and my damages? Question number two for the insurance adjuster. Will you confirm the total amount of insurance coverage in writing? That would be the auto insurance policy limits as well as any applicable umbrella insurance that's available and provided by the company. Question number three. Before I give a recorded statement, will you provide me with copies of any and all statements that you've taken from other witnesses or parties involved with this case? Question number four. If I sign your medical release form, will you provide me with copies of all medical records that you obtain using that form? Question number five. Will you confirm in writing whether you've done any surveillance of me since the accident? And if so, will you provide me with a copy of that surveillance, the actual surveillance video? Question number six. Get the insurance adjuster to confirm whether their insured driver, the other driver that caused your accident, was employed at the time of the accident, whether they were working, whether they were what lawyers call in the course and scope of employment. Demand that they provide you with a sworn affidavit signed by their driver stating whether they were working at the time of the accident. If they were working, you want to know who the company was and any insurance they may have. And finally, question number seven, ask the adjuster whether they'll provide you with a copy of any and all financial records, employment records, medical records, any documents they get that pertain to you or pertain to your case. One final piece of advice if you're going to represent yourself. Trust nobody but yourself. You don't have a lawyer to protect your interest, so don't let the insurance adjuster lull you into a false sense of friendship or camaraderie. They work for the insurance company. Their job is to save the insurance company money, not pay you. So make sure you keep the roles clear in your mind and demand the things that we've suggested. Well, there you have it, a few quick tips for handling your own auto accident injury case without using a lawyer. I hope this information has been helpful. Again, I reiterate that I always advise people with legal needs to consult attorneys, but if you insist on going the road alone, that's a way to do it. Good luck. The information presented in this video is for educational purposes only. It is not intended as legal advice. If you need legal assistance, please contact an attorney immediately.